Listen. How could you do this kind of great mistake? I specifically told you to schedule the meeting for 10 a.m. But you scheduled it for 12 p.m. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but I distinctly remember you telling me to schedule it for 12 p.m., sir. How dare you tell me that, Lisa? How dare you? You're just trying to cover up for your incompetence. So, this is the message you sent to me. You can see for yourself, sir. No, this is not true. I've never made this type of mistake before, sir. You can check your message. You specifically told me to set it up 12 p.m., sir. You can check your message. Let me, let me check that. Yes, sir. You're right. I, I, I misremembered. I'm, I'm very sorry. Thank you, sir. I just wanted to clarify the misunderstanding, sir. All right. I'll go back to your office. Go. Thank you, sir. Yes, Lisa. Please come sit. Listen up, Lisa, and listen to me carefully. We have a potential deal coming up this week with a client. And this client is an owner of a multi billion company. And we cannot afford to lose this deal. I hope you can hear me. Yes, sir. All right. I understand you, sir, and I'll make sure all the necessary documents are available, sir. I trust in you, Lisa. So, now, I want you to take things seriously. I want you to prepare files that you can use to start this deal. We are talking about a deal that will fetch us millions. I promise you to keep extra efforts and to make us close this deal, sir. Hmm. Lisa, listen up. This is a make or break deal for us. And I don't want us to mess up. I want you to put in extra effort. I want the documents to be ready before today, the end of today. Yes, I, I'll work at some. I'll, I promise not to let you down. Alright. Get going. Be careful the documents, sir. Alright. I'm not going to let you out. I need it. Thank you, sir. You can do it. She went to do something. Come, let's go. Oh, Mr. Richard, you are highly welcome to my company. Please have a seat, sir. <laughs> Your presence is nice to meet you, Mr. Richard. I appreciate that, uh, yes. Uh, let me go through one or two documents here and we kick up okay. with the deal. Yes. yes. Please make yourself com comfortable. Sure. Yeah. Yes, right. you, we can, we can. I'm sorry, 
just that I do realize you're working with a limited so I'll just go through the for you. Lisa, what is the meaning of this? Lisa, I specifically told you to prepare documents. Sir, the documents are organized already. I just won't speak to you. I'm sorry. Are you slapping up again, Lisa? I'm sorry, sir. I will bring the documents to you, sir. Ah, what is the meaning of this? Mr. Richard. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about this. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Simple instruction, simple. Please, sir. Please, sir. I need to, you know, I need to take a call. Um, I'll be back soon. You're free to do it with you. I'm into it with you. Oh, welcome. See, I need to document this. Lisa. Yes, ma'am. What is going on? You are acting so strange today. So, please, I want to tell you something. You can't see what you do with that man. He's not what you think he is. He just threatened me now. He's a scammer. What? How did you do this? Actually, he was my boyfriend a long time ago. And I just I found out about his criminal activities from one of my friends staying in this area. Please, sir, uh, I feel I have to warn you about him. You cannot do any deal with him. Lisa, sir. thank you for this vital information about that man. You're welcome, mm. sir. Don't worry, Lisa. I'll handle this case. Yes. Thank you for the information. Yes, sir. Please, I have to go now because I don't want him to know. I told you about this. You're safe, Lisa. You're safe. Thank you, sir. I'll just go back to my work. All right, Lisa. What? A scammer? With a criminal case? No, 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 I can't take this. Let me speak to DPU. Hello, DPU. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, um, sorry to disturb you, sir, this afternoon. Um, there is a man that is in my office and he's a criminal. A known criminal. A scammer for that. Yes, sir. I want you to send uh, some of your officers to my office. Yes, sir. It's me, sir. All right, sir. I'm very grateful. All right, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Peter. Uh, the call actually took me a little longer than I expected. Oh, Mr. Patrick, don't worry. You're welcome. I, I was just going through the files that you brought. Okay. And I can find this deal very, very interesting. <laughs> uh, of course, of course. Like I can't wait us. I can't wait for us to finalize this contract. Like I've got a lot on my mind. I'm willing to put on this table. Uh, obviously, from the profile, I can see everything. <laughs> sure. Yes, there is someone I would like to introduce to you, Mr. Patrick. Really? Yes. Um, Lisa, please come in. Lisa. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Lisa, welcome. Yes, sir. Uh, this was the person. Yes. You're welcome, officer. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Patrick, I think by now you can't tell me the truth. I know her, right? What's happening? What's going on here? <laughs> well, Mr. Patrick, you are under arrest for fraud, embezzlement. And multiple scam. Yes, yes sir. You dead between me. Save that. Officer, take him away. Let's go, Mr. Man. You will pay for this. Alexa? Sir. I am so grateful and indebted to you. Please have a seat. Yes, sir. Um, thank you for this vital information that you were able to share earlier. 
because if not for you, I would have signed a deal with this criminal. You won't come, sir. I just felt you need to know about him because he's a scammer and you, and you don't deserve to be scammed. Hmm. I'm so ashamed of myself for the past misbehavior and misconduct. You don't need for that, sir. You need to be ashamed. All right, Lisa. I promise to take my work more seriously, sir. I believe you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Lisa. Please, you may go back to this. Thank you, sir. 